hello there. This is a really scruffy picture. I was sent pictures by a fella who streams under the name of Super Chicken, and I've watched him for quite a while. He's, he's great entertainment. He's, he's dead funny and, and does some great streams. Uh, largely exploration-based, to be honest, which is partly why I've chosen this music, actually, because this one's a, this is called Fields of Poop, and it's about space exploration, setting foot on new planets and things. So I thought that's quite appropriate for this one. Uh, and actually, I think this is the first song I've used off Toko Says new album, which is rather cool. Anyway, uh, Super Chicken tends to uh, do an awful lot of travel in the galaxy. He's been to Beagle Point a couple of times. Uh, memorably, the uh, the longest distance rebuy, I think. <laughs> Got sent back to Beagle Point uh, on the cusp of uh, docking in Colonia, which was uh, which was entertaining. And this is uh, a Thargoid. He's worked out to. Uh, Meet Thargoids in the flesh, as it were. I've, I've watched uh, him, him doing it, and it, it looked quite dangerous to me. With your little hand weapon, taking pot shots as they're floating around in the sky above a settlement. That 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 strikes me as foolhardy. Yes, when they turn their enormous, great big, city-destroying beams on you, I think I think you probably notice. I really enjoyed doing this. Actually, I enjoyed doing the, the undercoat of the subtle tones of the galaxy. And then, uh, and then blocking in all the, the chunky shine, the glare off that beam. It's got that kind of scanning beam, it's lime, acid lime colour uh, that shines down on you and really dazzles everything. And, and it, it's, it's, it's dazzling enough in a ship, but imagining being on foot with your little visor, just the only thing protecting you from this enormous space crustacean. And it's, it's turning to face you with its weird kind of uh, aquatic frondy tentacly things that you, you'd expect to see in uh, some sort of shellfish or octopus under the water and it's got them because of course it's, it's in space it can frond its fronds at you any any way it wants really uh, without concerns for gravity and they just they, they glitter with the light they reflect the light of that enormous beam as well and it's so dazzling with darkness as well they're just really staggeringly a little bit scary and a little bit awe inspiring and very very beautiful they've done a really nice job on them and uh, i imagine and hope we're gonna see a little bit more of them we're we're, we're coming towards the denouement of this uh, big old story involving the Thargoids at the moment where we are in theory gonna blow them all up but i suspect we aren't gonna blow them all up uh, I don't even think we're going to get rid of them from the system, personally. I I'm, I'm quite excited about what we're going to find out. Yeah, it's going to be great. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>